Matriculation is significant in promoting and fulfilling a university culture and also initiation of newly admitted students. It is during matriculation that matriculants formally get student status of a university. The registrar of Yusuf Ali Sen gave a congratulatory remark to the matriculants for selecting the university as an institution from which they wish to receive their higher education, while noting that it is an important vote of confidence for the institution. I welcome you all in this first ever premier occasion of this university. It is a pleasure to have you here, and uh, it is a remarkable event in the history of the transformation of this institution. And uh, we are happy to have you all here as part of either our collaborators, supporters, promoters, you name them. But the main agenda is to push the relevance of higher and technical education for this country. Ibrahim Acham, the chairman of USAID Governing Council, and Ali Seka, the director of Institute of Technical Training, both said the country's only applied science engineering and technology university will be a powerhouse for the transformation of education and transfer of knowledge, thereby contributing immensely to the socio-economic development of the Gambia. And we hope that um, your time, as you said, will be useful. You will learn new things, new skills, while you are here and hopefully graduate in four years time with a degree in civil engineering or a degree in mechanical engineering or a degree in electrical electronic engineering because that is what we need in this country here um, that's a, as you know so there's a lot of um, shortage of engineers in the country so we look forward to all of you graduating in four years time to come to work in our different um, uh, sectors. Addressing the matriculants, the USAID Vice Chancellor Professor Samuel Ofori and Edward Mansell, the Director General of USAID, both reminded the students that they have joined a student centered university that will contribute significantly to the next generation of leaders, thus urging them to remain committed and dedicated to their respective areas of studies to be part of the history. My advice to you is that you do not just uh, seek for marks or grades. You have to seek for knowledge. You have to seek for skills. And you also have to seek for chances, opportunities to help the society. As an engineer, your job is to help the society what you call mankind, which is now uh, we refer to as the human kind. Your job is to solve problems of, of society. And you, the class of 2023, you are the first badge of this university. Like I said, the first two badges were taught by the University of Kwame Nkrumah, University of Science and Technology. But you are our first badge, and it should be your pride to be part of this history. I became many students in the School of Electrical Electron Engineering said learning and practicing electronic engineering has been her childhood dream and being enrolled at USAID is a step in making that dream come true. The new students numbering 57 are admitted in the various schools of USAID to pursue undergraduate programs. The program held at the USAID Carnifin campus aimed to inform the new students of their responsibilities, the university culture among others. The event was graced by the students, senior academic and administrative staff of the university. Reporting for GRTS News, I am Omar Pijalo.